Hello and welcome back to Factorial Beginner Series with Avak. Hello everyone! And myself, Shenner. Today, well, we're going to show you we left off uh, in a bit of a drought of copper, but we've solved that, haven't we? Yes. Yes. We There is a little bit of copper within our uh, our borders, if you will. So we just came down here and sorted that out. And I'm being so lazy. I'm just letting <laughs> the conveyor belt take me back to the factory. I'm not going to run on the conveyor belt either. I'm not one of these people who runs down the down escalator or up the up escalator. No, I gentleman walks but never runs. No, see, these these are the people movers at the airport, man. That's what these are. Man, best thing about airports are the people movers. Well, the worst thing is when you have someone who's a bit, um, shall we say, oversized, and they kind of take wow. up the whole people mover. And you know how they have like the plastic side side rails so you don't fall off the people mover and injure yourself. Yeah. Well, when there's a wide person in the people mover and you can't get past them and they're too lazy to walk along the people mover and you're really in a rush to get to your, you know, the, the, the airplane. Oh, that's the worst. Anyway. That was so, enough, enough so not tactful. Shaming. That, was, that was so bad. So bad. <laughs> so uh, uh, we, 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 we talked about doing ro robots, right? Mm -hmm. Rivets, robots, rivets. And we researched robots but we haven't actually done them yet. So what's no. the first step we need for, for robots? Well, as it happens, you have implemented the very first step, which is to make lubricant. Lubricant is super, super easy. You simply put in heavy oil and you get lubricant out. So Shen has set this up and we are already starting to tank some of it. Uh, we've not got a very great production. Our oil production is a bit wanting, honestly, but that's something that we can look to improve over time. Now, the requirements for any kind of robot is the robot frame. Making the actual robot itself is generally fairly easy. You just add a new component to a robot frame. Um, I believe it's green circuits or red circuits. Let me just double check that for you, though. Uh, yeah, it's red circuits or green circuits, two of whichever respective one. And one robot frame gives you a robot. Very easy. The robot frames require electric engines, batteries, and steel. Batteries and steel, we've got in abundance. The electric engines, though, we've not made, so we need to start making those. Yeah, and that's where the lubricant comes in. Yep. So if we check the recipe for electric engine unit, it requires a regular engine, some mm -hmm. green circuits, and some lubricant. We have the lubricant. We can make electric. We can make engine units, yep. and we can make electronic circuits. So I think that's going to be the first step. Indeed. Now, based on the way that we've kind of laid out our base, uh, let's take. I would say if we run some pipe to ground pipes just to, to run the lubricant along this kind of line following the train track and then up, we'll make this little area our production facility for the 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 actual engine units. I think oh, that, that should be are, fine. The batteries are right there and the lubricant's right here. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a good plan. Now, I believe somewhere in the factory we already have engine production. So I'm just going to go and double check that just to uh, be super lazy and just see how I did it before. <laughs> <laughs> Why do all the calculations again? I'll just see the ratios that I used last time. Okay, that's actually super simple. Two pipes, one gear, three engine factories. That's not too bad. Now, an engine is produced one every 20 seconds. Uh, that's not so great. I, I mean, it would probably be better if we had five but we could just double this recipe to have um, four pipes. We'd probably get away with one gear anyway, because it only requires one gear, and one gear factory produces two gears at a time, so that would actually be okay. Yeah, we we should be able to comfortably set this up. So yeah, I don't think it's going to be a problem. The nice thing here is that electric engines that require 20 seconds to make, and then... Uh, sorry, uh, the, the regular engines, 20 seconds to make. The electric engines, 20 seconds to make. And they require one electric engine. So if we just make it one-to-one -one electric engine factories for um, regular engine factories, we should be good. That was a wonderful sound. It was a wonderful sound. Unfortunately, I've got to get this down here now, which is kind of a pain in the bum. Uh, right. Dum, dum, dum. Just picked up some more resources because I ran out of the ability to make red splitters. And that's something that we still haven't automated because we are just the absolute worst. We didn't make any yep, uh, it's true. We didn't make any automated production for red underground or red splitters, which is something we use all, all the time. <laughs> oh man. We are the worst. It, it is it is a proven fact. Cannot argue. 
we are really terra bad. Okay, so at the front here, you're gonna make your pipes and your gears, right? Yeah, that is in fact correct. Uh, we're gonna need that one space over, unfortunately. There we go. Because oh, we're gonna I need pipes steel. And gears were just iron. Uh, yes, but the engines requires one steel. So if you just have um, steel and iron running down, just on on separate belts. It'll make the uh, factories at the very bottom a little bit easier to fit in. It's already? Uh, I'm going to go see. Did we ever set something up to automate the construction of factories? Now, there's a question. No. Really? There's a lot of things that we, that we could, oh my Lord. should do. We are we such a terrible factory <laughs> factory foreman. I know, right? Uh, we're going to have a license taken off us at this rate. I'm just going to hoover up all of this beautiful... Copper, iron, and steel. That'll do. There we go. I can make a million things now. Uh, we are only going to need in... one gear assembly. How many pipes? Probably three would do. I'm I'm okay. massively guesstimating the amount here, but uh, we'll go with three. That works. Um, well, actually, you know what? Uh, no, I don't know what. You know what the spookiest thing about this game is? It's what? got awesome music, and the music is off right now. So I'm like, what's going on? Why is the music off? Are we getting attacked <laughs> or something? Well, what we're going to do, I think the best thing is not to have the iron come down... Uh, sorry, the steel come down here. Uh, instead, we can have the steel come down a little bit further on and have this factory right about... Oh, on the right side of the belt. Here, yep. And then we'll have all of... No, no, no. If you had those factories there, and then we could have the output going onto this belt, because we just need gears and pipes on one belt. Okay. We don't need to okay. mess around too much with that. Can do. I'll bring this down. Perfect. Yeah. Are you sure that we only need the, the one gears? Yeah, because it, gears are produced so fast. You produce two, uh, one gear every 0 0.5 seconds, basically. And we need one gear every 20 seconds for each one of these factories. So oh, gosh, we gosh. don't need many at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, there we go. We'll be running six of them. So, you know, but again... Because each one of them takes so long to produce its, its um, cargo, it, it's fine for us. Absolutely fine. Oh, scallywags. We can't quite get it all done. Well, actually, you did a fairly good job there. We could do an underground to make it work. There How inefficient would that be? Do an underground belt on the pipe right here just to put another uh, power line on the belt. Oh, that would stupid. be pretty bad. <laughs> right, we don't need That's that. That's resources. Um, what we do need now is the steel. What I would suggest is if we run this along like that and have the steel come down and be on this side. Sure, I'll grab it. There you go. Dunk. Looks now, good. Now, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to make six blue factories. Oh, you've already got them. Well, bloody done. Yeah. Right, well, in that case, I'm going to need myself. We'll keep making them because I've only got three left. Ah. Now, the issue here is these. We only need these to go straight into the um, factories for electric engines. Oh, you want to hand them straight over? Oh, gosh, well, gosh. we could, or because hmm. the the electric factories only require electronic circuits as a piped to, uh, sorry, as a belted resource. Right. Okay. Well, how about this? Since they require a liquid, and liquids are kind of a bit tedious to put into, not tedious, but troublesome to put into mm -hmm. these factories. How about we run these six? in a line just yeah. straight engines in a line and we'll put the um the pipe the lubricant pipe behind them so that it's easy to pipe them in all at once rather than running the pipe all around the factory 
Yeah, I agree with that. That's a pretty good idea. I like it. All right. Let me bring the pipe up, and I'll get rid of these factories up here. Okay. Now, we're going to want... Uh, boom, boom, boom. The batteries aren't needed yet, so I can push those back a little bit. And we can decide where we're going to place those. I'll put these down. Dump, dump, dump. There we are. Now, typically having these running the way that we've got them, and that is uh, along horizontally here, not the best place in the universe to put these sorts of things, because no. it does prevent us from expanding quite as quite as easily well, as we you know might what? have liked. We mm -hmm. can do them vertically, no problem. Uh, well, I suppose we could, given I mean, there's no the reason situation. Not to, because we can just put the um, the batteries right underneath them. Just put it underneath. Who cares? Uh, oh, that certainly is. Yeah, all right. We could we could definitely do that. Uh, I'm Hopefully just trying to work out fit. where I would put it in regards to the gears. But what we could do instead is... Okay, we're going to have to redo our positioning quite a lot with this. And I do apologize for the umming and ahhing. But this will occasionally happen as we're trying to uh, work out the best place to put things. Occasionally. Occasionally. Maybe sometimes always. There we go. There we are, we'll have the gears being produced there. And pull these down. There we go. And we'll actually go back to what I had originally, and that is that the steel should be coming down alongside the iron. And we can simply have... Do you want to move those over just a tad? Because they're current uh, what position... Direction? Uh, well, basically have some of the factories in line with the gear factories. Um, because what I'm thinking of doing is having the pipes and gears output behind the factories. Pipes and gears behind the factories. Yeah, let me uh, quickly demonstrate what I mean. If we take <laughs> these six away, and we place them something like this. So we've got six factories for the regular engines huh. we'll have the steel line moving down there an empty line starting there and we'll have the gears and everything else moving down the back so these factories will use a long hand uh, handle inserter to pick up the steel a uh, fast inserter to pick up the pipes and gears from the back and then we'll put their engines on this one conveyor belt which will take it down to the row oh. of electric engines which can then be fed the I thought you uh, wanted a, um, lubricant directly factory to factory engine to engine it would just take up a lot of room and it would also um cramp on our ability to expand it a little bit if we okay. felt the need to later on yeah that works Go. Actually, there's no now, this happens a that. lot. Yes. Once your factor reaches a certain point, you kind of feel like you should do stuff sort of similarly to the way you've already done stuff in the factory. <laughs> so it has a kind of a, a similar look and feel to it. Yeah. So we're trying be. to not uh, we're trying to not build ourselves into a corner here, essentially. Like he's saying, we want to have the ability to expand this if uh, we ever wish to. Yeah. And in this case, we can do it just by pushing the wall a little down or moving a belt somewhere. We can easily expand this. Yeah. If we've got the output from a factory going onto a belt rather than specifically moving into another factory, then we can just expe expand the belt, turn it around a corner or something, and just move the, the next phase of the factories further away. Whereas if we're relying on piping from one factory directly into another then the whole block of factories has to move, which is a much larger ordeal. Yep, perfect. Alright, we're going to want to move some power across here, which is a bit of a pain, but... We can yeah, I wish there was, like, power poles just one tile bigger. Uh, well, actually, speaking about that, let's go ahead and make some substations then. Really? But they yeah. take so much resources. It's not that we're really hurting for resources at this point. 
I think we can comfortably use substations. So is that enough gears? Like, what's the recipe for engines? Because I'm seeing three pipes for every one gear. Uh, one gear, two pipes is the recipe. Oh, okay. I will have a single connection there. Well, actually, we need it to go across the side, so I guess we will use this one then. Pump. There we go. At that stage, we don't need any of these power poles because the three substations are connecting everything. There we are. Perfect. Right, so we've got our fairly upscaled uh, engine production. We've still got an area where they're being stockpiled, but this will allow us to create an area where we can just get quite a few engines at once produced. What I was thinking is uh, just balancing them a bit. Uh, I guess we don't really need to, I suppose. Uh, next, oh, we we're going to want... I'll, I'll do that. We will also need uh, green circuits, but we can do that all the way up here if we want to. Fairly easily, in fact. We can uh, possibly even branch it off the green circuit production that we've got going on over here. Would you rather do that? Shen? Huh? What? Who? Currently, we've Tacos? got green um, circuit production pumping into the um, inserters that we make specifically for our blue science packs. We could simply extend that that uh, line out. Nah, let's localize no? it. Okay. Localize it. Like, if... Uh, this is, this is just, like I, just, like I was, just like I was... Oh, wow. Let me trip over my tongue a little bit. Just like I was saying about how we want our factory to sort of look the same pretty much everywhere so we can yeah. you know, at least at a glance see what's going on well everywhere that we're doing green science we are not green science green circuits we've localized it yeah so no, that is a fair that point pattern. yeah because otherwise we would have just put them on the the main bus which is also a very good way to do green science green uh i keep saying green science but yeah it's a good way to do green circuits to just put them on the main bus because you're going to use them in a lot of recipes yeah all right so i will run this belt oh no no okay so you're going to do them locally gotcha 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 yep if I just get them set up here, it'll be a little bit easy for us. And then we can pipe them down. Simple as. Um, oh, goodness. The splitters, they're building slowly. Yeah. Now, we can do this just from a single one. That should be fine. Ah, dread. Oh, well, well. That'll, that'll work. I was just uh, lamenting the fact that I couldn't easily get that uh, in the right spot, but it's fine. I'm getting oh, too I used see. to now how, how good uh, substations are, just moving stuff around for me. They are amazing. There we go. I guess just use a long-handed. Why is that? Uh, yeah, oh, that's right. We don't have... This isn't Bob's Mods. We don't have the, the far inserter. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we'll just get those on the same line, then just uh, balance it and run it down. Now, what we can do here to save on space, and I think it would be a good idea, is we can have these lines... I mean, later on, we can change it around to make it more expandable. But for the second... We can do, do this. Them? No. You can have them running in different directions. Oh, and just put the lubricant behind the... the uh... Behind the factory. Yeah, okay. Because the lubricant Candy. only needs to connect directly into the factory, so... Right. Uh, let me just pop these down. One, two, three. Uh, I'll pop down a substation or two, or maybe 12. There we go. Because there's so much power coverage there. Yeah. It's mad. Oh, there we are. They're super nice. The only downside of the substation is the amount of resources they take. Yeah. Right, we need to just bring down the... Where's the steel? Uh, sorry, iron. 
Oh wow, do you have any um blue factories? <laughs> I do not on me at the moment. I was kind of hoping that you still had some on you. Mm, can I, I, uh, I can build some in my pocket. Fantastic. Well, I need to go and pick up some more belts, but we are very nearly at the point where we've got automated red engine production now. So since the since the engines and the green circuits are running on separate belts, mm -hmm. we're going to have a bit of a tough time pulling the electric engines out of these factories because the lubricant is like right up against it. But they don't need to be, um, as far as I understand, they only need to be at one specific tile. If you use, um, let me have a quick look at that. Ah, I see what you mean. Well, like, one thing like you can do is uh, to make it a little bit easier on us. If we do it like this, let me uh, pick these up. If we do it like this instead. And for each factory, just have it come across from a further location. Yeah, the only so, downside there is we're using a lot more... Um, a lot more undergrounds, but that's okay. Yeah, it, it's horribly, horribly resource inefficient doing it this way. But at some point, your factory will be like, eh, whatever, just do it. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I would say we are with our factory at the moment. Eh, whatever. <laughs> we can move that one, yep. And uh, that comes all the way down. And you just hook that up. Good to go. There we go. I just need to get some more belts because I came back before I'd managed to pick them up. Like a fool. You fool. Where is our red belt production? You've doomed us all. I know we had red belt production somewhere. No. Damn it. No. We must have. I refuse to believe that we've managed to get this far without making belts. <laughs> there we are. This tiny little unassuming factory off in the middle of nowhere. I will take half of many of these. There we go. Okay, I am on my way back. And then we will be finished. And once we start getting electric engines, the next episode will be simply setting up the robots. Because we've already got robot ports being made. The robots are fairly simple to make. There we go. Oh yeah, they're really nice and easy. Oops, I got those facing the wrong way. There we go. Okay, now, we've got circuits coming down. And I see electric engines being made. We are not doing this fast enough. I need much more speed. More power. More speed. More there power. That's All right. better. Well, electric engines, we got them. Excellent. So they actually started to ramp up? Perfect. Okay. Now then. And fighters, we got them. <laughs> yeah. Right, so with the electric engines being made, all we need for the actual robot frames. Now these, again, take 20 seconds. So if we've got six engine factories, we may as well have six robot frame factories as well. Um, Shen, for convenience, why don't we reverse the direction of these and have them running down and then up so it's a bit more of a straight line rather than starting in the middle, if that makes sense. Sure. Uh, that way we can have the engine factories just running up, uh, the six of them, and then they can go into a little area where we're making the robots, and all will be well. Uh, I am going to go ahead and make... Ooh... I don't have enough stuff. I will be making six engines You don't have shortly. enough stuff? Why don't you have enough stuff? Well, some jerk murdered me a couple of episodes ago. What a jerk. I don't know. There we go. I'll have six engines... Uh, sorry, six factories done in just a second. There we are. Perfect. And that can come down. We can balance the belt if we really wanted to. I don't think we need to, frankly, but... I don't think it's necessary. No. I mean, it's, it's, it's sort of self-balancing, because we have three going on one side, three going on the other. There we are. And these all need to be set up to make the flying robot frames. Now, 
all we need for this is... Uh, we want steel, electronic circuits, and batteries. Now, the ratio of these... One electric engine to two batteries to one steel to three electronic circuits. And as you can see, we're vastly overproducing the electronic circuits for what we need. So what I would suggest is we have the engines and the electronic circuits on one line. Since they take 20 seconds, usually I'd be a little bit more um, focused on keeping any kind of product that... Um, since we need three times as much engines, the uh, the circuits should be on their own belt. But in this case, I think they do just as well to merge onto the onto the this belt here. Done. There we go. Perfect. That. And the other thing is steel and batteries. Okay, I'll bring the batteries over. Right. Shh. Works just as well. There we go. I don't want to know. <laughs> All right, there we go. We'll run this up. Actually, I'll move my factories over a little bit so that we can uh, get the other line just uh, between the two. Should be fine then. Would you like the batteries to come down there as well, so that we can? Yeah, if we do exactly what we did with the okay with the electric engines. There we are. And then I'll bring some steel straight down. And we should be good. We. Uh, why? If no, no, no. Oh, you no. wanted to go the other yeah. way. Okay, yeah. Okay, gotcha. If we can, that would be ideal. No, Avec, it's impossible. We can't do it. Well, crap, basically. Yeah, you, you, your idea. It's, it's in, it's illogical. It, it cannot be done. Except it can. There we go. Look at that. Done. Perfect. Everything we need to make robot frames. Oh, now the music comes back on at the end of the video. <laughs> there we go. And they are all set up. So, we are now producing the robot frames. All we need to do now is set up the actual robot production itself. I'll put a little light down here as well, just to keep the factory nice and illuminated, so we know what we're doing when we're wandering around. Wow, we'll get we ourselves into that, trouble. Those light bulbs actually cover a nice area. Yeah. Actually, we haven't got any illumination in the blue science area, surprisingly. Oh, well, there we go. That. Thank you. Sorted. Right, so in the next episode, we will automate the production of both logistics and uh, construction robots. And once we've done that, things are going to get very interesting in this base. There's going to be a period of readjustment as we uh, rejig the factory to make use of logistics robots. We you will... are going to both love and hate. Yes. Things. Yeah, pretty much. We are probably going to be fairly... Um reserved, quite moderate in our use of logistics robots, but understand that you can go all in if you want to and more or less just never use belts again, if you really want to. I think it cuts a little bit too much flavor out of the game, so we won't be doing that, but you know, just understand that it is possible if you're crazy. <laughs> oh, Avak. You just offended so many people. It's alright. I've only really <laughs> offended Steve, Joe. <laughs> it's fine. Right, we're going to be wrapping up there, though. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode and will be joining us for the next, where robots will be on the cards. But uh, until next time, take care, everyone. Have a good day.